The Full House alum said she was disheartened to find that her new movie, Craft Me a Romance, had been sold to the Great American Family Network without her knowledge. The cable channel drew controversy last year when its chief creative officer, and Sweden's former co-star, Candace Cameron Bure promised the network will keep traditional marriage at the core with its content. Sometimes, we, as actors, don't have control over which network buys the projects we are in, nor are we a part of the process in which they get sold," Sweeten told People in a statement August 11, shortly after her film was unveiled in Network's autumn schedule. So, I was very surprised to learn by reading about it in the press yesterday that the independent film I worked on over a year ago was sold to Great American Family. Seemingly condemning the network, the actress continued, I am disappointed, but in keeping with my mission of supporting the LGBTQ plus family, any potential or future money made from this sale will be donated to LGBTQ plus organizations. Also starring Brent Bailey, Craft Me a Romance centers around a small town art supply store owner who's been told by her rival that she must either sell her shop or be forced out of business. The movie is set to premiere on Great American Family September 16. This was not the first time Sweeten publicly threw her support for the LGBTQ plus community. When Jojo Sawa called out Cameron Bure's comments as rude and hurtful to a whole community of people on Instagram in November, the 41-year-old replied in the comment section, You know I love you. She also proudly described herself as an outspoken ally for the community one month later. I've always tried to fight for equality and love for everyone, she told Entertainment Tonight in December. I feel like if you have a voice and you have a platform, it is incumbent on you to be loud and use it. As for Cameron Bure, the 47-year-old previously addressed her controversial remarks, clarifying that she long wanted to find a home for more faith-based programming. I have great love and affection for all people, Cameron Bure said in a statement last November. It absolutely breaks my heart that anyone would ever think I intentionally would want to offend and hurt anyone. The former VIEW co-host added that she loves people of any race, creed, sexuality, or political party, including those who have tried to bully me with name-calling. I had also expressed in my interview, which was not included, that people of all ethnicities and identities have and will continue to contribute to the network in great ways both in front of and behind the camera, which I encourage and fully support, she said at the time. I've never been interested in proselytizing through my storytelling, but in celebrating God's greatness in our lives through the stories I tell.